right guys it is the next day from the last video so um, we just finished putting together the grain cart uh, there wasn't much to put together from yesterday we just had to get a certain part uh, that we ordered wrong so uh, yeah I believe that the cart should be 100% ready so we are taking it up to the main farm so we can we'll unload into it once with the hopper full and then I'm gonna go start combining the plan today is to get a load to fill a truck we'll call a truck over and then we're probably going to start hauling up to my field I would assume we'll see how things kind of work out here uh, basically we just won't plan on anything. We'll just kind of roll how it goes. All right. Made it to the main farm. So we'll unload our hopper on the combine and go out and start combining. It's my first load into the grain cart this year. It feels good. All right, so we unloaded the cat uh, with the one dump in it. So I'm dumping one more load into it and then I'm going to combine another and we'll try two dumps once the semi gets here just kind of work our way up uh, make sure it's running right we noticed on this corn head there is little rubber flaps that go on the auger to feed in the ears and they are not there they are non-existent and so we got some of those and we're going to put those on before we head up to my field. We're also probably going to grease up the combine. Uh, we just really want to make sure everything is working once we get to my field because once we're there, we don't want to have to bring stuff back unless if we are done. All right, so I got two hopperfuls in the grain cart. So I'm going to move it over and somewhat get it ready for when the truck comes and then we're going to start working on the combine. We are all ready for a truck, so as we're waiting for that, I'm going to start greasing up the combine, and I'll show you those flaps I was talking about. So on our corn header, there's little rubber flaps. They kind of look like these, but a lot bigger, and they just go on these plates here, if you can see those, uh, and it basically just helps feed in those corn cobs a lot smoother. So it doesn't all bunch up and slug into the machine all at once.
The cart seemed to work really good actually. Probably better than it ever has. So that's a really good sign. Go over, finish filling the truck. All right guys, we are going to start heading to my field. I do want to adjust that light quick. Okay. So if you guys do not know, I have been running my own field this year. It's my first year ever officially running my own field. And the main difficulties that this field has been is the location. So this field is pretty much on the other side of town. And pretty much the only way to get there is to go straight through town. So we are going to make that trip right now. I am in the combine with the corn head. And behind me, we've got the cat with the grain cart. And uh, we're basically just going to open up the field today. So tomorrow, we are also going to get uh, the dairy farms grain cart. So that'll make a full load, a full semi load. So we won't have to uh, haul wagons and the auger and deal with all that kind of stuff on the road. So I'll kind of explain a little more when we uh, get up there, I guess. But uh, yeah, for now, we got to get over there. All right, we made it to the field. So if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll know that this is the only entrance. So it's kind of a difficult one. So I'm just gonna put down the camera for a second and uh, get things opened up here so the grain cart can get in here.
right, the field has opened up. It was kind of a mess getting in here. Uh, just because there's no real easy way to plant it and to be able to get in the field easy. So we got it worked out though. So I am not completely full yet, but uh, I want to empty so I can have enough room to uh, move around. been out here for a little bit and we are actually almost going to be done the grain cart is full so I'm just going to fill the hopper and we'll have to stop because trucks are done for the day and uh, yeah everything's full so things have been going actually really good yields uh, it's hard to tell right now this monitor up here is always a little off and we're not really sure exactly how much, but based off of what that's saying, compared to what we've done before, I am extremely pleased with how it's yielding. So we were kind of expecting around 150 bushels, maybe a little more, uh, just because this field is not the best field, just because of the soils and stuff like that. So yeah, I just finished up opening everything up. So all the headlands are done. In fact, this is my first pass of the regular stuff. We did end up putting those paddles on and for some reason, it's been kind of kicking the ears completely out of the head. And in fact, there's quite a few sitting on the feeder house. And I'm not really sure exactly why it's doing that, but my guess is from factory, they come kind of cupped, and it's so cupped that when it scoops them, it basically just throws them around instead of actually pushing them into the feeder house. So we're hoping once they get a little more wore into, it'll be a little better, and I have noticed it's been better. But we did, that, we did end up putting that guard down, and that has helped a lot. But you can see it piles up pretty bad with stalks. So I would much rather have a bunch of stalks on the feeder house than have a bunch of ears flying out of the header. So that's the update on that, I guess. 
haven't officially moisture test with the tester down there but based off of what the monitor is saying which again the monitor is not calibrated correctly but based off of what it's saying it is about the same as the corn at the main farm and we did test that and that was 16 and a half percent which is basically perfect could be a little drier but it's plenty perfect to uh, combine See the yields jumping up like that. Every once in a while we'll get to a real thick spot like this. You can see it's almost as tall as the combine. And just as an FYI, we believe this yield monitor is reading low. So yeah. I'd say that is extremely good. I am very happy with that. Now, obviously, that's not what it's going to average, but still, that's really going to bump up the average quite a bit. <laughs> 